the normal force on the box is. So the first thing we're going to do is to label all the forces that, is, that are acting on this box. So we know that the box's weight is going to pull down, which is given by mg, which is the mass times the acceleration due to gravity. We know that we have this force applied here, which is going to give us a x, our x component acting to the right here. Because if we draw out the components for this, f applied has an x component towards the right. And now f applied also has a y component pointing straight down. So that's add on in addition to our weight. So there we have f applied y down, mg down, force applied x to the right, and then the resultant for mg and f applied y is going to be an fn. Now the thing to keep in mind here is we have to apply Newton's second law to all of these situations here. Now the thing that we want to know about is our normal force here. And in order to get that we have to deal with the y component of this. So if we apply Newton's second law, the net force is equal to ma and if we now apply this to the y direction, so the net force in the y direction is equal to MAY, which we know that the resultant of this is going to be zero because our object is not accelerating downward or upward because it is on this flat horizontal surface here and it's not going to leave the surface. So it's staying on this horizontal surface here and we know it's not going to leave. So we know our acceleration is going to be zero in the y direction. Now Knowing that, if we now write out the sum of all these forces here, we would have the normal force minus mg, because we're considering the up direction to be our positive y direction, and the right to be our positive x. If we do that, our normal force would be considered positive, our mg would be considered negative, and our force applied would also be considered negative, but remember it's only the y component of this force. Now, if we do so, we would have our normal force is equal to mg. If we add both of these to that side, we'd have fn is equal to mg plus f applied y component of it. Now the thing is to determine what the y component is given as. Now applying Sokotoa, we would see that the sine of theta is equal to the f applied y over f applied. And in order to solve for f applied in the y component, multiply both sides by f applied, giving us that the force in the y direction is given to force applied times the sine of theta. So from here, we can see that our normal force is equal to mg plus f applied times sine of theta. Now, from this, we go to our choices here, and we see the answer choice that corresponds to this is answer D. The normal force is mg plus the applied force times the sine of theta.